Good morning and welcome to the beauty of nature, to spring. It is springtime. It's that time where we can appreciate the universe. And for me, growing up in the tropics in the beautiful island of Jamaica, nature was what inspired me to start creating art. I'm Eunice Lafayette, owner of Lafayette Gallery Vision Center, located at 227 North Market Street in Wilmington, Delaware. And let me explain the Vision Center part of this, because it's not your ordinary gallery where you go to see exhibitions mounted on a wall. That's not what we're about. The vision, the mission of this gallery is to reach out to the community, to reach out and touch, to touch people, to touch children. And last evening, I was at an after-school care program over in a neighborhood house that is in Southbridge, Wilmington. And it was such a joy to engage those children in creating art about spring. Not only did we do that, we had a little round robin and each child explained the piece he or she created and we related it to the universe, to the beauty of nature and how fortunate we are that we wake up in a place where, you know, for the most part, there is peace around us. Whereas in other parts of the world, and I always take my children across the globe, I let them know they're part of a home. Later on, they go on to school. They're part of a community. They're part of a nation. And they're also part of a world. And whatever happens in the world affects us. That's the message I normally tell the children with whom I work. So yes, they created works of art and we framed them and they were just on cloud nine about their talent. I discovered the talent, helped them to discover their talents. Didn't teach them anything. I don't teach art. Art is innate. Every child was born an artist. So, we had a wonderful week last week and on Saturday I had a youth young lady, 11 years old, since it's Women's History Month, I brought her to the gallery. She came with her mom to see the exhibition of another girl, an 18-year-old Deborah Tate, who now has an exhibition here of her work that she has created. It is stunning. Approximately 25 pieces she has painted since last June under my mentorship. So there is a lot to be thankful for. And I always love that song. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. And that is why the banner of my gallery is a peaceful city begins with me. So it's not just a peaceful city, it's a peaceful nation, and it's a peaceful world. We are part of the world, and as we are right now, as I speak right now, there is war going on in another part of the world, which could affect us going forward. So we can't just sit back and relax. We are far away from them. It doesn't work that way. We need to be conscious, we need to be engaged, we need to not take anything for granted, to be alert. We're getting the warnings. And I believe that there is, I know, there is a maker of the universe and regardless of what man wants to do there is a greater man in the universe that controls it all so we should always be reaching out 
in that respect to the maker of the universe who controls everything. Those who are waging war, they don't control a thing. They could be, you know, taken out in a moment. So, let me project this work of art. You have seen it over and over again. It is what I normally use to send condolences when there is a tragedy, whether here or abroad, it is a piece that I use. And it is titled, One in the Spirit. And notice those angels. And notice the hands praying. So, it's about diversity. It is about humanity. That's what it's, that's what it's about. Let me introduce you, since it's springtime, to a work of art which is close to my heart. And it is titled, Morning Glory. Morning Glory. And there is morning glory for me. When I grew up as a child in the beautiful island of Jamaica, in the Caribbean, nature inspired me. It was nature that inspired me to start creating art. And though I did not have the luxury of modern day art materials, I made use of what I had. I had a wall that was my canvas. We burned wood. I had charcoal sticks. I had a pencil. And on the walls of my home, I would create art. So back to Morning Glory. How did this work of art, not work of art, well, from nature, how did that inspire me? This is actually the, the flower that is responsible for what I have today in terms of my art. So Morning Glory, a beautiful flower is growing up all around us, we had patches of it. And what was important about this morning glory is that as a child, I was curious. So I would wake up in the mornings and I would notice that the um, petals had opened up. We had three names for this morning glory. So the petals opened up in the morning and we called it Get Up and Kiss Me. That was the morning name. The petals close approximately 4 o'clock Jamaican time. Seriously, 4 o'clock, those petals would close. And I would stand up over the patch of morning glory. And I would watch the petals close. It was such a joy that I would hurry up when I woke up in the morning to see the petals open. Isn't that wonderful? It is. So the universe has great power. You know when I realized again, well that was my early childhood days, but in 2020 when the pandemic broke, that was another time that I realized the power of the universe. March 13th 2020 was a call for lockdown in my state, the state of Delaware, the governor announced we are locking down. All non-essential business are closing. So I gathered up brushes and paints and my canvases and I stayed home and I created during that time. I created works of art about nature. Here's this piece, it's titled Pandemic Roses. Another piece titled Pandemic Hibiscus. And let me go back here to, to take the most important piece as it relates to music. Because music and art are profound. So yes, I told you I took my brushes, paints, canvas, etc. home. But I also had my CD. 
And I was blazing out that CD of Bob Marley's famous song with the lyrics of the three little birds. Don't worry about a thing, cause every little thing gonna be all right. And that was how I gained comfort. That was a, my major way of coping with the pandemic at the outbreak of that pandemic. And when I looked around, I was walking outside again, I saw a patch of roses. Yes, the roses were in bloom. These were annuals and they were in bloom, it was March. You know what I said? Despite the lockdown, the beauty of nature is never on lockdown. The beauty of nature is never closed. The beauty of nature is always alive. What a great philosophy to look at life. Okay, so that being said, my agenda this morning is focused on the art of charity because it was through charity that this gallery existed in the first place. I don't have to rehash that story about my volunteer work at the YMCA and donating my art for a charity and that really connected me and I was put out there on the cover of Out and About magazine and the state of Delaware, everybody was drawn to my folk art. That was 93, 29 years ago. So because I grew up again, home training, in a charitable home where my parents were always giving, despite the fact that we didn't always have it, they were always giving. And giving is a part of my DNA. So when tragedy strikes or in normal times, I am giving back. And I use my art as a charity. So this morning from the screen you can see art of charity benefit art sale. Notice the word donation isn't there. I am not asking anyone for a donation. Actually, it's two charities I'm dealing with this morning. The first one is a charity art sale. The next one is a charity where a friend of mine dropped and left the jar here, and I'll talk about that, and she's collecting money for orphans in Kenya. That's asking for a donation, your pocket change, etc., to drop in the jar. That's different. The first art of charity that I want to talk about is close and personal, and it relates to the war in Ukraine. A dear family of mine who lived in the city of Wilmington, Delaware. Yes. Artren and Tatiana Alien. Many of you out there probably know this family. Three beautiful children. They're so engaging. And I had the joy of mentoring the oldest child, who is a girl, she, she would come to this gallery to paint. Yeah, she had a birthday recently. I was able to post some of her masterpieces. But as we speak, that family who immigrated to Ukraine over a year ago, and they kept us abreast of the joy and learning the Polish language, and we were all in awe about how well they had settled in. There came the war and disrupted them and they had to run for refuge. Yes, they had to leave their belongings behind. And, and you can go on the Facebook page. Almost every day there is a post that they're putting out there and they are so very upbeat. Mr. Allian, was here very active in education. It's a program called Delaware C-A-N, Delaware CAN. He was very involved in education here, both of them. And I personally, as I said, it's personal to me, I used to dine with them when the Bull Bay Caribbean restaurant 
existed at 9, 900 North Orange Street. We used to be there. Many times I went there and they were there having dinner or if it was a brunch, etc. They were there. So I've known them over the years. A wonderful family. And my subject is about peace. So let me go back to peace. And I created a, a body of art around peace. And strange enough, the series was inspired by the Iraq War. That's correct. The war in Iraq, which broke out on the 19th of March, 2003, the airstrikes and then the ground strikes on the 20th, 2003. Yes, that's what inspired the series of art, which I'm now asking you to purchase some of these pieces so that I can donate a portion of the proceeds to this wonderful family that I know personally and who had to take refuge elsewhere. And they keep us abreast of their progress. And when you look at the children, you would know that they're impacted by war, happy children. And thanks to the, the wonderful upbringing and the positivity. So here's a piece that I created. And again, it came out of that Iraq war. And the piece is titled Dreaming of Peace because I knew of a woman who had a son who had to go in combat for that war. And we were all praying and dreaming of peace for that man, and he survived that war. So there again, it's about peace. So what I'm asking you now, this part, there's no donation involved here, not at all. No one is asking you to donate. I am saying to you, purchase these works of art, which are going to appreciate in years to come. Invest. And a portion of your investment will go to a worthy cause, will be donated to this family that I'm telling you about. So that's an original painting right here. If you want to purchase the original painting, inbox me. That is Eunice Lafayette. Or you could go to my website, www.lafaitegallery.com and put a message there that you are interested in purchasing Dreaming of Peace. It is beautifully framed. I also have the original of this painting. This is a limited edition print. And again, all these are available for purchase. Uh, and they're not all on my website, but will be soon. But you can contact me to purchase them. And look at the one, um, Look at this piece, which is related to peace. This miniature right there, Peaceful City. This should be in a child's room. Do you have grandchildren? Or are you involved in any way with, with youth and children? This should be on their wall. How are we going to educate the children to be peaceful if they don't see images related to peace? And as I speak about that, there is this image from Bob Marley's famous song, One Love, One Heart. And I have a beautiful story uh, how this came about. You can go to my page and see and read the story of Diversity Love. That's the title. So Dreaming of Peace comes in a smaller version here. It is framed. This is another work about peace. And this, again, is about peace and diversity. Everyone, red and yellow, black and white and brown, are involved. And this is a tribute to a peacemaker who passed away two years ago. His name, Deborah Mohammed. He had commissioned me to create this piece and asked me how much it costs. And I said, I can't put a value on peace. You can use the image. It won't cost you a dime. And when he described, when I contacted him, I said, what do you want me to represent in your piece? This was for the Delaware Peacemakers. He said, 
Miss Lafayette, I want a work of art with the sun shining down on children of different races. I have to put my face back on. Yes, that's how he described it. He wanted a work of art with the beautiful sun shining down on children of different races. And how better could I represent it than that? Look at that sun and the dove. And look at the children of the different races. All inclusive. Red and yellow, black and white and brown. It's a small version of another piece. A peaceful city. A framed piece. These are all available for purchase. How do you purchase them? If you live in the city of Wilmington, come to Lafayette Gallery. And if you live in the city and you have not yet visited the Lafayette Gallery, what can I say? It is time. You know, there's a slogan out there. It's time, Wilmington Gallery. There is another slogan which says, it's time to G-O-A-T. They came about with that slogan last year. It was this summer campaign into the fall. It's time to G-O-A-T. And that means get out around town. It is time. It is springtime. Go goat. Come out and goat. Get out around town. We're going to be having the curbside parties. We're going to be doing a lot. And you need the sunshine. If you're sitting on your couch at this moment, I encourage you to go outside and soak up some of the natural vitamin D. Studies have proven during the pandemic that 80% of the people who passed from the pandemic had low immune system. The natural sunshine helps to build your immune system. So take a walk. Take a walk out in the sunshine. Soak it up. Oh, yeah, I walk. I do a lot of walking in the city. Soaking up the sunshine. And I love spring. Oh, yeah. Decked out spring this morning. Yes, well, back to the, back to the uh, art for a cause. I want to support that family that was caught up in the war in Ukraine and had to flee for refuge. I want to sell some of my piece art and I'll be donating a portion of it to them. And you know, I have a triangle that describes my art of charity program. I'm a visual graphic person. So let me show you this. Here's what you're getting into. Here's what I'm asking. It is called my art of charity benefit art sale triangle. So here is the triangle, the fake gallery, art of sale benefit triangle. So on the one side of the triangle, well, let's start here because I am the one promoting. So there's the fake gallery. There is the organization or the family, which in this case is the family. It's going to benefit. Then there is you, you, the patron. And who is the winner here? The greatest beneficiary here in this triangle is you. Because guess what? You're going to walk away with my valuable art, which is going to appreciate, which, which you're going to be creating wealth. That's what it says there. Why buy art? Because art is wealth. So here again, the, for this charity, I am not asking for a donation. I am asking you to purchase art, be a patron, and that is going to make you create wealth which you can leave for the next generation. That's, that's what I'm asking. And not only can you purchase art, you can purchase products from my art. Numerous. There are numerous products in this gallery. T-shirts, mugs, name it all. Tote bags. It's all here. And for my, per let me introduce you now to go online. I've now developed Q codes. That's correct. When I post a video now, there is a Q code. And if you scan that code, it takes you right to my, to the website or the product site. So let's begin with Lafayette Gallery, where these works of art that I'm showing you 
are posted. That's the Q code. So if you go on my page, my Facebook page, Eunice and Faith, look at my post, Art for a Cause, or any of my posts in recent days, carries two codes. Okay, so the black code takes you to Lafayette Gallery, where you can get original paintings, limited edition print, and my catalog of selected works and writing. Did you know I'm a writer? Oh yes. And I have this catalog which contains 25 images and the stories behind them. And the, even stories related to the piece I'm talking about are in this catalog. Look at that. The stories. Okay. So, that is the uh, black code. The black QR code which takes you to the Lafayette Gallery. Now let's go get the mugs, the t-shirts, etc. This is the code, the blue code. The blue QR code will take you to a website. That's not my personal website. It's called Fine Art America. And they, they manufacture or they produce. I upload my images and they produce the products from them. So if you go to my page and you wanted mugs, t-shirts, etc., look for the blue code the blue qr code scan it takes you right to that website that's for those who are not able to visit the gallery if you're here i want to meet you personally and if you have not come to this gallery now and you have lived here in this city this gallery has been open this will be seven years and if you have not visited the faith gallery and you live in this city come on it's time it's about time. I invite you to come to support a worthy cause. We are not asking you in this segment for actually, there are two segments here. So there is art for a cause to benefit this family who got caught up in the war in Ukraine. They're right here from the city of Wilmington, Delaware. And I told you the, 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 the A, their name, A-L-E-Y-N-E, family. And it's Akron and Tatiana, and three beautiful children. So I want to, because I was so close to them, I want to use my art as a cause to support them. Okay, that's one of the causes. Cause number two, and this will take us to Africa. You know, there's always an ongoing need to help there. And my friend, Regina, she was here last week and we created a video. She brought me first that glass jar. You might have seen the video where the glass jar broke and how I ended up finding some money in an envelope that was in the gallery to have paid a musician. There's a phenomenal story and I decided to donate that money. So I gave her a check last week. So because the glass jar broke. She brought me a plastic container, a plastic jar. Here is it. These are children, orphans. She's using her foundation to support orphanage in Kenya. And there go. Look at those beautiful eyes. Look at the eyes of those children. Wow, that would melt your heart or should. If you're in the city of Wilmington, Delaware, and you pass by the gallery, bring some change. They're asking each person just six quarters, a minimum of six, six quarters to drop in this bucket here, in this plastic bucket. And let me give you a little more information about the foundation. It's called Opendo, that's U-P-E-N-D-O, United Foundation. And it's in Kenya and also in the United States. The mission is to support orphans and vulnerable children with, support them with education, with food, clothing, shelter, and medical needs. And that's the goal that she has set. So I'm asking you to support this word because this time I'm not using the art for this. I am asking you to drop something in this. Or you could go to the website, 
to donate, go to www.upendounitedfoundation.org. Go and make a donation. Donate for a worthy cause. You will be helping children who should be our future leaders. Yes, we, we must look out for the next generation. So thank you so much for your generosity. Go to www.upendounitedfoundation.org to contribute to that fundraiser. And to contribute to my it's not a fundraiser. It's an art of charity benefit art sale in which you, you the patron, you're the greatest benefactor because you're going to walk away with valuable art. You can come to the Fed Gallery, 227 North Market Street, Wilmington, Delaware. My hours are Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sunday, Monday by appointment. And you can... Make your appointment by calling me at 302-656-6786. So thank you very much for watching this video. I want you to share it as widely as you can with your friends. But more so, I want you to go to the... If you're not able to physically come to the gallery, go to the website. Look at my page first. It's easier when you have that um, code, the QR code. So all the posts that I put out there now, just look at the um, images and usually the, the code will be the last image on the post. Support a worthy cause. Thank you for watching. Like and share the video. Have a great day. It is springtime. Get out, get off the couch and go out. Soak up the sun. Thank you.